Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. I'm going to put together a quick video today showing a little workaround for um, boundary surfaces. Say if you have a like a boundary surface like this, which on one side has a uh, one edge as a reference, on the other side you have to use the selection manager and pick multiple edges. And sometimes, like if you're in a, working on a like a, say a thousand feature or more part, sometimes adding boundary surfaces and picking edges with the selection manager grinds to a halt when you're inside the boundary surface. So I've got a little fix or a workaround that I've I've sort of known about for quite some time, but never bothered to uh, capture in a video. So I thought I'd just quickly capture this. I'll just show you what I've done here. This is just my test subject, which is this double loop surface, which I've been mucking around with for a while uh, as a sort of multiple blend sort of challenge. Okay, so I've, I've, I've made a, I'll show you what I've done. Made a sweep. So say I'm, I'm going to uh, trim this out and, and put a manual blend in there. So I've created a sweep and that sweep has trimmed out this area here, which I want to blend. I've added two sketches as uh, their curvature continuous, sort of second direction curves for the boundary blend. And then the boundary surface is built. And in this case, this is before I've um, used, this is using Selection Manager, I'm just showing you the setup. So on one side I've got edge curvature continuous, on the other, other side I've got um, using Selection Manager, I have a group also with uh, Curvature Continuous, 100% uh, Tangent Influence and I've added some connectors in here to get the, let's just show the, the mesh preview just to get the UV sort of flying a bit nicer, like if I deleted these we uh, reset connectors you can see the flow is not very nice around here, the UVs are skewing over so that's why I added the connectors to straighten those up so anyway, I'll just escape from that and just show you the result of that surface. So, so that surface is okay. It's not too bad. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Instead of having to use Selection Manager and pick those edges, I found that if you insert a 3D sketch and you pick these edges and convert entities, you go OK, go on back into that boundary surface. Now if I drop that open group there, delete that, and then instead we pick up the 3D sketch we just made. OK, so you think, OK, that's all good. But the other thing is the 3D sketch with the converted entities uh, references those edges. And it allows you to reference, uh, use those edges to uh, control tangency or curvature. So instead of having to go pick, 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 you know, um, which really can slow down boundary surface if you're working on a heavy model, uh, and it can get quite frustrating as well. So you can just go uh, have your 3D sketch and you can fix up your edges and that, pick them in there much quicker than having to do it in, in uh, Selection Manager and the boundary. One thing I will say, another thing to look out for, if you do go uh, and you've got something which you had tangent influence on 100%, um, you might notice now the surface is extremely flat on this side where I've repicked that boundary. Even though the slider here is up to 100%, it says 0%, whereas on the other side it still says 100%. So this is a little SolidWorks quirk, you've got to watch out for this. You know, you, you, you wouldn't want to send something out for tooling or something and have this happen, but all you have to do is just drag this and drag it back again, and it goes to 100% and voila, your surface is full again. So yeah, just something to watch out for. So now I've got that 3D sketch in there, and I can right click and add a few connectors. Whoops, that happens as well sometimes when you right click it, it um, ends the command. So make sure we're picking the right direction. Right click, add connector, and maybe one more down here. Right click, add connector, and then you want to drag the connectors to be sort of perpendicular. You can also reference uh, points or 3D sketch points, something like that, if you want to actually have dimensions controlling these. So as you can see there, the UVs aren't skewed anymore. And go OK. And there we go. So we've got that blend back, except now the blend is referencing this 3D sketch. OK, so hopefully someone finds that useful at some point when you're pulling your hair out, but working on a real heavy model. I uh, have to change something, the boundary surface that takes like, you know, 
takes a minute to use the uh, selection manager to repick a few edges um, and then and then it loses references it can be a real pain so yeah thanks for watching andrew jackson aj design studio